Hello guys, namaste. Welcome back to Android Tricks. And in this video, I'm gonna show you top 10 root applications which you probably won't know. All of this are handpicked, handpicked, and they are not sponsored at all. So I hope you enjoy my list. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this you crazy mother! Starting off with the first application, it is called Gravity Box. The MMER indicates that this is the version of Marshmallow. You can download it for KitKat, Lollipop or whichever you are using. And as you can see, this is one stop shop for almost all the customization you can do on the Android. You can also add Pi Control which I am adding right now. Let me turn on the trigger indicator. And as you can see, it adds this beautiful trigger or the Pi Control which you can use. If you do not want the navigation bar to take up your space. There are also status bar tweaks and in that there are tons of options. I'll show you the clock setting real quick. You can add it to the center, hide clock, show the day of the week, hide AM, PM and much more. You can also tweak the battery percentage text the way you want. There are tons of options which you couldn't have even imagined that you could do on your Android. Coming to the second application, it is called Emoji Switcher. Once you are connected to the internet, it will, de it will detect which smiley or which emojis are running on your device. Then you can change it to whichever you want. I'll turn it to iOS 10. Now it will download all the emojis and then it will ask for a reboot and you are done. Now as you are running a rooted device, chances are that you might want to flash a ROM. And to do that, you can use the Flashify. It is really popular and you might already know this. I installed the Exposed and the Super SU via this app only. As you can see, you can go, you can select the zip file which you want to flash, select the recovery mode and then flash it off. Coming to the next application which is called Greenify. This application also works without root so if you are watching this video and you do not have a root access, first of all thank you for watching it and this application can work on your device as well. You can select the mode which you want from your root, non-root or exposed and this application will basically turn off all the applications which are not running. It will turn those applications into hibernate mode which will save battery and boost your device and this actually works rather than some application which claim to increase your battery or increase the RAM of your device. You can add the applications from here as I just did it over here. Coming to the next application, it is called Wake Lock Detector also known as WLD. This application detects which applications are running on your background and shows you how many times it woke your device or it used the battery of your device. You can actually turn them into the hibernate mode of the Greenify which I showed earlier directly from this application as I just did it over here. Coming to the next application which is called Undeleter. Now as the name suggests this is the recycle bean of your Android. You need to go into the restore file option. It will scan your storage then select the files which you actually want to recover from internal storage or the OTG. The deep scan also includes the specific type of files which you want to download or restore I mean as I just did it over here. It will scan your device and come up with all the applications which you deleted recently. The next application on the list is the exposed framework. Well I have made a video specifically on this exposed framework because it is very unique. So I'll link it down below or a card will pop out right now. Just click it. This is really unique feature and it adds way more functionality to your device than you could expect. Coming to the next application which is called Titanium Backup. Even this is very popular among the root users but if you don't know, well I'll show you. It actually backs up your device or freezes an application and you can continue from where you were even after rooting, even after your device is actually flashed or wiped 
it will all be there. The backing up is really easy. Just click the application and select backup. However, in the free version, you can only back up two times. You need the pro version if you want to back up again and again at different levels. Coming to the next application, which is called uninstall. Simple as its name, it actually deletes all the inbuilt file or all the applications which you want. Well, Samsung user, you might be familiar with the crap that have been already installed on your application. To uninstall it, just select the application and uninstall as I just did it over here. It is really helpful if your device comes with a load crap of apps which you actually do not use. The next application on my list is the Total Commander. Well, everyone might not need this because everyone uses a file explorer but if you face the issue of your Google Apps not working, this application actually fixes it. I made a video on that as well, I'll link it down below or a card will pop out right now. Now coming to an honorable mention, add away something which you might or which you might not need. You can also, if you, if you are a non-rooted user, you can also use an application called Adblock plus Browser. It will basically delete all the ads as well. So that's pretty much for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, show me some love and hit that like button down below. Also subscribe because I'll be coming up with more and more videos on root, on application, reviews and much more. So see you guys in the next one.